Hello. Uh, this is Ellie from the Math Center. Today we're going to be talking about Picard's Existence and Uniqueness Theorem. Uh, Picard's Existence and Uniqueness Theorem states that given a differential equation in the form of dy dt is equal to f of t y, then, and in initial condition, y of t naught, or so yeah, y of t naught is equal to y naught, this is known as an initial value problem, or RVP, then if f of t y is continuous near our initial condition t naught y naught, a solution exists. Furthermore, if the partial derivative with respect to y of f of ty is also continuous near our initial um, condition t naught y naught, the solution is unique. So let's go through a couple examples of um, Picard's existence and uniqueness theorem and how it may be useful. Example one. We're going to have in uh, we're going to have a differential equation, or f of ty is going to be equal to t times the arctangent of y. And our initial condition, initial value, is y of 0 equals 0. So the first thing we have to check is if there's any discontinuities or asymptotes near our initial condition, and if the function exists at our initial condition. So we will plug it in, and we'll get f of 0, 0, t is 0 here, and y is 0 for our initial condition. This is equal to 0 times the arctangent of 0, which equals 0. Furthermore, looking at this, we know that there are no discontinuities. or asymptotes near our point. So it's going to be continuous near t naught y naught, or 0, 0 in our case. This shows existence. This means that a solution exists um, for this in initial value problem. Now let's see if it's unique. The way we do that is we write the partial derivative of f with respect to y equal to t over 1 plus y squared. The way that we did this um, is by keeping t as a constant and taking the um, derivative of arctangent of y. So that's how we got the 1 plus y squared over here. So we will now evaluate this at 0, 0, our initial condition. And this is equal to 0 over 1 plus 0 squared, which is equal to 0. Now we know here that there are also no discontinuities or asymptotes near 0, 0. So we know it is continuous near t naught why not? And this shows that we have a unique solution. So using Picard's theorem, we were able to show both existence and uniqueness of our initial value problem. Um, furthermore, well, let's do another example. Um, and in this example, we'll, uh, it'll either not exist or it will uh, not be unique. So let's write example two. Let dy dt equal to 3y to a two-thirds with an initial condition y of 2 is equal to 0. So here, we are in this form. So our f of ty is equal to 3y to 2 thirds. And our t naught y naught is 2 comma 0. So if we plug in our initial condition here, f of 2 comma 0, 
This is going to be equal to 3 times 0 to a 2 thirds, which is equal to 0. Now we know that they're looking at this um, function. We know that there are no discontinuities or um, asymptotes near to 0, so we know it's continuous. Near to 0. And this shows existence. Uh, let's take the partial derivative of f with respect to y. Here we find that it's using the power rule. We find that it's equal to 2y to a negative one third, or 2 over y to the one third. If we evaluate this, if we evaluate this at our initial condition, or at our initial value, um, to zero. This is equal to two, 2 over 0, which is undefined. So since it's undefined at this point, we can say it's not continuous, which means that our solution may not be unique. This is an important distinction, because Picard's theorem does not say that the uh, solution is not unique. It only says that it may not be unique, because the test fails. Uh, I hope this was helpful with Picard's theorem, and we'll see you at the Math Center.